Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you're all doing wonderful. I am up pretty bright and early today. It's around eight o'clock. I have a very, very busy day and we are starting with something super exciting. So I have some things in from Princess Polly that I think I mentioned to you guys in my last video that I was placing an order with them and everything arrived super quickly. So it's already here and I cannot wait to show you guys. I also feel like I haven't shown you guys like new in my wardrobe things in a while. So I'm really excited to get into all of these pieces. So first of all, I just want to thank Princess Polly for sponsoring this part of the video. I absolutely love working with them and I feel like they have such a good range of products. In addition to that, they have free shipping in the US on orders over $50 and there's so many good things. So it's easy to get your cart <laughs> past that $50 mark. And they also have shop pay and after pay. So especially after the holidays when we're all just buying gifts, it's definitely beneficial to use those two services just to help your bank account out a little bit. So we're going to get started. I have a discount code for you guys and it's Jenna 20. I'll leave it on the screen here and I'll also put it in the description box along with all the products I'm going to show you guys, the sizing and all that amazing stuff. So I am wearing this set that I want to show you guys first because I slept in this last night and it's the coziest ever, but I decided to get some short, leaf, short sleeve pajamas for the winter because for some reason, we can keep our apartment on 67 degrees, which is pretty chilly for me. I'm always running super cold, um, but I will be sweating at night and I'm always like trying to open the door and like when it was warmer out, we would crack the windows, but it's too cold out to do that now. So I was like, let me just change what I'm wearing to bed and instead of doing these like heavyweight pajamas, I'll get something lighter. And I saw these and thought that they were so adorable. They are these like blue and white striped little pattern pajamas with this cute collar. And then the shorts are kind of like a boxer style, but I'll show you guys in a cutaway what it looks like overall, but super cozy. And I sized up in the shirt so that it would be a little bit oversized on top and then true to size on the bottom, which you guys know is normally how I do my cohort sets. But yeah, I love these. I think the color's really pretty. And since I'm wearing them in the winter, I also know they're gonna work in the summer because they are a short sleeve set. And yeah, I just thought that they were really sweet. Sorry that he just turned on if you guys can hear that. Okay, so next piece is going to be a capsule wardrobe closet staple. And this is a cable knit sweater. If you guys don't have one in your wardrobe, please, please get one and get this one specifically because the fit of it is amazing. It's kind of oversized. I did size up, I think one size. Oh, I got a large, extra large, which typical for me. I always like my sweaters to be oversized, but this, cable knit pattern is so classic. The fabric is also super soft. So if you get bothered by like itchy sweaters, this will not itch you at all. And it's super comfortable to wear. And I love pairing this with like a pair of baggy jeans on the bottom and just a pair of sneakers to be super casual and effortless. But you could also put like a collar underneath it and wear it with trousers to work. You can pair this with like tights and a skirt if you want a little bit more of a dressier look. And yeah, so tons of different ways to style something like this and you will have this in your wardrobe forever. Okay, speaking of some straight leg baggy jeans, I saw the wash of this pair of denim and I was like immediately sold. I am very into like a washed black style, especially for like straight leg jeans because they're a little bit baggier, a little bit more relaxed. And so I like for the colorway to also suit that type of style. So these are a charcoal gray pair of denim. I wish that you guys could feel how soft these are. I wore them the other day all the way to the Upper East Side and then to work for the entire day and they were just so comfortable. I kind of felt like I was wearing pajamas, which is very difficult to do for denim. I know a lot of people find denim uncomfortable, but this pair specifically are just so soft and so easy to wear. And they do have a raw hem on the bottom, so any of my shorter girlies out there, you can always cut a little bit of the length off and you'll still have that like raw hem kind of style. And that's what I love about jeans not being like hemmed at the bottom is that if you do need to customize them for your specific body type, then that is something that you can do. Um, but yeah, so the wash is really pretty. I love the shape of these. They're wide leg, but they're not super, super baggy and they would look adorable with that cable knit sweater, which is probably how I am going to style them anyway. Okay, I need to just mention this to you guys. If you watched my last vlog, I showed you a couple of things that I was kind of gathering for my sister's bachelorette and bridal shower, and I saw this bow on Princess Polly's website, and I was like, shut up. It is so stinking cute. So we're gonna give this to her. The first night of her bachelorette, we're doing 
pajamas and Prosecco. So we're gonna do like a pajama night and I thought this would look so nice with a pair of white pajamas for her as a little like gift and like welcome to your bachelorette weekend. But this is gonna look adorable and honestly, we'll probably use it for mine and my sister's bridal showers and like events and things too. So you could pass it along to your friends. It could be like sisterhood of the traveling bow, something borrowed, you know, but just a really cute little thing that I picked up that honestly, I'm like beaming. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to give it to her. Okay, the last thing that I have is probably the most perfect cropped puffer I've ever seen in my life. And I also wore this the other day with the jeans to style. And this was the warmest thing ever. I think that morning specifically, it was 20, I think it was 25 degrees out. And I was like, I'm gonna hope that this jacket is warm enough. And you guys, I was like sweating. So if you guys need a puffer jacket, this one is perfect. They do have a few different ones on the website, but honestly, I would definitely choose this one. It is definitely an affordable price, but also with the 20% off, it'll be even better. But the quality of this feels insane. Like when I tell you that this feels like a $500 jacket, I'm not kidding. It has like the perfect amount of puff to it without making you look super like big and oversized and huge on top. And it's also super warm, which is a very nice thing to have when you're buying something that you want to have last in your wardrobe you want to make sure it's practical because if it's not you're going to wear it once and then try to get rid of it so the material the shape of this was really stunning and it also has this little drawstring at the bottom so you can pull it in to kind of make that little like cropped like large on the top and like maybe with some straight like jeans to balance it out a little bit but really cute i think i sized up in this yeah just one size up so that i could fit like bigger sweaters and things underneath it but honestly you're not really going to need extra layers with this because it's that warm and i love that this also has this collar that comes up a little bit i think it's a really cute detail and also just makes it look that much more expensive so something else that i wanted to note on this jacket that probably no one else cares about is that the hardware on it is also black there are so many times where i have looked at certain jackets and i've loved the silhouette and the material and the color but if it has a gold or silver zipper, I don't know why that deters me so much. I just feel like it doesn't look expensive unless it has like this monochrome kind of hardware on it. So yeah, just something that I noticed that you guys probably don't really care about, but this jacket is stunning. I am so excited to wear this with like my gym wear, my like jeans and a beanie when I'm running errands, just like a really easy thing to throw on. And that's also super practical to have in your wardrobe. Okay guys, so that is everything from Princess Polly. As I mentioned, I do have a discount code. It's Jenna20 if you guys wanna shop anything on their website. And if you guys end up ordering anything, let me know what you picked up in the comments down below. I'm always curious to see what pieces you guys end up picking out and it will definitely serve as inspo for me because I feed off of you guys as well. So thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this part of the video. I am going to finish getting ready. I need to pop my earrings in because I feel a little bit naked without them. And we're gonna get started with the day. So I have to go to Brooklyn this morning, which I woke up early on purpose so that I can get this done in the first half of the day and then try to do some other work in the afternoon. So I'm gonna get dressed quickly and get ready to go there. And then I also need to get a coffee. I haven't eaten or had coffee today and I'm like, we need to do that beforehand, but honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna have time because I need to catch the subway and get there when the store opens. So I'm getting it ready right now, but welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am so happy to be vlogging again for another weekend. We have a long weekend ahead of us. We do have Monday off, so this vlog will probably carry over today, which is Saturday, I don't think I even mentioned, and then tomorrow, and then maybe Monday. But honestly, with the amount of stuff that I wanna like chat to you guys and share with you, I feel like we'll probably do a separate video for Monday, but we'll see. And it could be like a fun like day off around the city because I already have some plans and I can't wait to take you guys along. So I need to stop talking and get ready because this is always what makes me late. Okay, it's a little bit later now. We went to Dunkin' after I got back from Primark and I got myself a small iced white toasted hazelnut coffee. I think there's also the word bark in there. Kind of a crazy name. It's very delicious, but it is really, really sweet. I should have put, or I should have asked them to put like less pumps of the syrup in there. But nonetheless, I came home, got my video uploaded and ate. So it didn't really do much. 
this apartment is an absolute pigsty so we're gonna clean after I show you guys these new packages that I got in because I feel like I haven't shown you guys new in stuff in a while um, and then I'll also show you the things that I picked up from po Poshmark from Primark later because I feel like I got some really good pieces and it will be on my Instagram but I figured I would show you guys as well. But we have this box that came in from Kiehl's with the coolest packaging ever. And we have their Ultra Facial Barrier Balm, which is their all day hydration range. And it comes in this cute little case, which is perfect because I'm going to my sister's bachelorette this weekend. And normally my makeup bag doesn't fit my skincare stuff. So this is a really good like larger size one to keep everything in. And it's also nice and neutral, which is what I love. So it has this little barrier balm. Add on top of makeup for a dewy, radiant look. Apply under perfume for long-lasting aroma. Wow, interesting. Oh, those are just the hacks. So this is just for ultra hydration. It also comes with this little carrier thing, so you can clip it to um, one of your travel bags. And then we have the ultra facial cream, which this is the moisturizer that I'm currently using, and I love it. Any moisturizer that I don't wake up with flakes around my mouth is always a good one, and I don't get the flakes with this product either. Um, also my Caudalie ones, those are some of my favorite. And then we got a cleanser, and this is an advanced repair barrier cream. So when the super dry months come over January and February, that's gonna be a really good product to have. So thank you to Kiehl's for sending this stuff over. I'm so excited to use more of the range because right now, as I mentioned, I only am deep into the facial cream. So I can't wait to try the other pieces too. And then this next package is definitely a dream. I am doing a video with Brooklinen. So we have their um, bundle collection. I went with the Lux one instead of their normal cotton one just because I was curious. I've only ever had cotton sheets. So I wanted to try out a different material. And I went with this pattern, which is actually on the booklet. I don't know if they send you one that's specific to the one that you chose, but I think it's called Window Pane. And I thought that would look really nice, the neutrals with our boucle headboard. So this is what it looks like. We have the sheet set, comes with extra pillowcases, which I love because I like to switch out the pillowcases in between cleaning the sheets. So we do the sheets once a week and then I try to switch out the pillowcases during the week. I haven't been doing it much with the gingerbread ones because they make me so happy. Um, but that's always the goal. And then we have the duvet cover. So really excited to try this stuff out and I will let you guys know how it is once I sleep in it. But I need to get all of this stuff into the laundry room and wash it and dry it because I want to film parts of the video later today. And in between that, I will be cleaning. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright you guys, the Christmas tree is officially gone and I'm so sad about it. It was actually huge. I did not realize how much space it took up while we had it up, but she's taken down now and now we have the clothing rack back where it belongs, which I actually was looking forward to because this was in the front hallway for the past couple of months and it kind of like crowded the hallway a little bit, so I like that this is back in its little spot over here. I also took the Christmas presents that I had underneath there. I completely forgot that I put this Cezanne jewelry box thing underneath the tree. And I'm so glad I found this because I'm gonna bring it next weekend to my sister's bachelorette because it's the perfect little travel size. Okay, one more update for you guys. This looks a little bit horrible right now, but I cut some of the leaves off of the peonies because I felt like they were a little bit overcrowded and they weren't blooming, so I just cut a bunch of the leaves off and then I put them in front of the window in the kitchen where they got the most sun. And this one started opening up within like an hour, so I think that definitely helped. And then these little guys that are the most closed started to open a little bit too. So yeah, I'm really excited about this because I love having fresh florals and if we can't have Christmas decorations, then flowers definitely help. So I just got back from the gym and I'm gonna make myself a little smoothie. I did 
bananas, spinach, blueberries, strawberry, raspberry, just like a berry medley from Trader Joe's, and then vanilla protein powder and ooh, a little bit of peanut butter. I just felt like having something healthy because I have literally been eating pasta and bread over the past couple of days and cheese, and <laughs> none of that is, you know, hitting my nutritious marks. So we are gonna have a smoothie for dinner. I'm not like crazy hungry, so I think this will also be like a really nice little thing to have, and I put milk in it because we ran out of our like oat milk that I got from Malk. I need to place another order with them just because I really like their flavors and stuff for smoothies because it gives a little sweet touch to it, but for now we're just dealing with the basics. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I didn't really do much at the end of yesterday. I was kind of being a weirdo and like rewatching my vlogs and just writing down certain things that I want to do for the videos in 2024. So yeah, that was my night. And then I woke up this morning probably at around 8.30, 8.45-ish. So a little bit later, but I have made myself a nice little latte. It's funny because yesterday, Polly and I went down to Dunkin' Donuts because he was like, I don't know if our milk is still okay because it expired on the 9th and today is the 14th and it's still fine. So when I woke up this morning, I smelled the milk and it's okay. <laughs> um, but I always do that. I don't necessarily go by the, expi the expiration date just because I'm like, sometimes it expires before the expiration date. So I'm like, if it expires before sometimes, it's also possible that it'll last a little bit longer. So. I was able to make a coffee and I was so excited about that because I didn't want to go and buy one. Especially since, so today's Sunday, tomorrow I have off, which I don't think I remember, oh no, I did mention that to you guys yesterday. Tomorrow is MLK day, so we don't have work and I am going to go with my friends to shoot in the morning and then I have my birthday dinner with the same friends in the evening. So, very excited about that. but. Because I'm going shooting tomorrow, I'm probably going to buy a coffee somewhere out if the coffee shops are even open. So it's great that we got to make one at home today. And you guys know that when I make one at home, I usually get to have two. <laughs> because in my head, I just think that they're free because I didn't leave to go and get it. So yeah. But second morning wearing my Princess Polly pajamas, you guys have no idea how in love I am with these. They're just like really lightweight and so soft and I like just chilling in them. I probably should not be wearing pajamas at this point in the day, but... Um, I'll change it a little bit. It'll be fine. But yeah, they're like amazing. I love these so much. Okay, so sorry my straw keeps clinking around. Let's just put that down. Um, today we have some work to get done in the morning. Polly's going to study for his exam and then while he does that I'm going to do um, some Brooklyn in work. I also have my JS Health collaboration for Instagram that I have to shoot. And then one other thing. Oh, I have the Primark stuff from yesterday that I'll style and do the videos for that. So those three things we're going to try to get done all today so that tomorrow I can kind of just like chill and enjoy my day off. Um, and I also need to style outfits for tomorrow morning's shoot. So I don't know where we're going yet and sometimes that like constitutes what outfits I'll put together. So maybe I'll do that with you guys later. But for right now, I'm going to get dressed. I'm probably going to wear the Princess Polly crew neck that I got. Yes. No. That I showed you yesterday. Um, the cream like cable knit one just because it's a nice like relaxed thing to wear at home when I'm working and also That knitwear pile over there. I don't know where to point over here is Crazy and I need to put some of it away because it's supposed to be this cute little Aesthetic like neutral thing for me to look at and right now That's not what we're getting here. This is not cute at all it's like not folded correctly. There's 19 sweaters on this chair and we just need to take care of that. Okay, so I just stopped a little bit of my work to make some lunch and we have a very high protein lunch today. This is also kind of like breakfast food, but we don't have 
a lot of groceries left. I have to go to Trader Joe's soon. Um, so I just did plain yogurt. It's like Greek yogurt, the generic brand from Whole Foods. And then a banana, granola, I think it's like honey and cinnamon or something, and then a little bit of peanut butter. Okay, so much later in the afternoon and we are about to leave and go to run some errands and then we're gonna try to find a place to watch the Cowboys game later. I don't think I've mentioned on here, but I am a Cowboys fan. Inherited it from my dad. <laughs> um, and so they're in the playoffs and we wanna watch the game. So this is what I'm gonna wear. It's about 40 degrees out. It was snowing earlier today and now it's really, really nice. Please also excuse the stuff on my bed from what I was filming before. Um, but I put on this outfit that's kind of like a mishmash of neutrals. So Jenny Kane sweater, brown fuzzy jacket, my YSL sunset. Um, these are the jeans from Princess Polly and then my Nike Dunks. Happy Monday. Today is my day off. We have off for Martin Luther King Jr. Day and I'm gonna go meet Bella and Avery this morning to shoot. Um, but I think we're gonna start a whole new vlog because the things that I have to do today, it's a pretty lengthy list and I feel like this vlog would go on for an hour and a half if I didn't split them up into two. So. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm so excited to start filming again for today. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the upcoming vlogs or styling videos. I would absolutely love to have you on my channel. And I love you all and I will see you in my next video.